man who strikes terror into the very hearts of shopsters, lawbreakers, and criminals. Today, the Society of the Living Dead. In just a moment, the Shadow's exciting adventure will begin. Meanwhile, I have an important message for all you homeowners. We are now in the midst of the most treacherous season of the entire year. But you can protect your family's health during this danger period by burning blue coal. For blue coal gives you clean, uniform, healthful heat all winter long. And its harmless blue coloring is your guarantee of better heat at less cost. So when you order fuel, insist on blue coal. It's Pennsylvania's finest anthracite. Your nearest blue coal dealer will be glad to send you a trial ton. Phone him tomorrow. Hello, hello. Any classic? City desk. Yes, go ahead, Turner. Mr. and Mrs. Smith are being held in Holly Military Prison as spies. The Smiths are believed not to be American citizens. What? Yes. The Prime Minister was handed a note by American ambassador this morning. Yes, go ahead. American State Department reported investigating circumstances under which the Smith passports were issued. Good work, Turner. Keep feeding it. Hold the presses for a new front page story. London correspondent is on the wire. This phony passport racket is being uncovered. New York. More news on the Smith case. Mr. and Mrs. Smith are not citizens. A fake passport and identification ring is expected. The name Schwartz was taken from tombstones to secure passports. More startling disclosures are promised by federal agents and local authorities who suspect widespread plots. All over? right, Margo. Yeah, this fake passport and identification record interests me. It's not in Yard in England, the State Department of Washington, there are a whole New York police force working on that fake passport racket. Do you have to get mixed up in it? You see, Margo, it, it, it ties up with a case that interests me. You mean the suicide of your broker, Henry Adams? Yes. But Lamont, what possible connection could there be? I, I don't see it. Well, I didn't see any connection either until today, although Adams never struck me as being the type of man who would commit suicide. His body was found two weeks ago, and they buried him right afterwards in the family vault in Kingman Cemetery. Seems to me that's what you might call a closed case. Well, I don't agree, Margot. I noticed in one of the gossip columns the other day a remark that interested me very much. What is that? An item that said that Irene Adams, the orphan daughter of Henry Adams, was being courted by Ray Kelvin. Oh, Ray Kelvin was Henry Adams' partner, wasn't he? Yes, he was. But what interested me even more was another item which said that Ray Kelvin was very friendly with a man named Berger, who, according to all reports, is a very questionable character. I don't see the connection, Lamont. Well, but much of the evidence points to Burgo being mixed up in his business. Oh, you mean that fake passport and identification ring that we just heard about on the radio? Yes. Margot, I want you to call on Adams' orphan daughter. Her name is Irene. Pose as a reporter. Ask her about the rumors of her coming marriage with Kelvin and find out if she actually saw the face of her father at any time after his death. All right, Lamont. Where will you be when I get back? I'll phone you at my office. Are you going to visit Burger as Lamont Cranston? No, Margot. I I rather think Burger will be more impressed if I visit him with a shadow. I'm so sorry, Miss Adams. I I know it's hard to talk to a stranger about such personal things so soon after your father's tragic death. Yes. Yes. True that my father didn't want me to marry Mr. Kelvin. It seems so unfair. Ray Kelvin was his own partner in business. But you are going to marry Mr. Kelvin. Yes. I wanted to wait until soon after father's death. But Ray has to go away to Europe. He may be gone for years. Oh, I see. Mr. Kelvin's leaving the country. But isn't he indicted on a stock swindling charge? Yes. Oh, but he says he'll soon have proof that he didn't have anything to do with it. Miss Adams, don't you realize that Mr. Kelvin can only clear himself by proving that your own father was the swindler? No, no. Ray wouldn't do that. Did you ever see your father after they found his body in the river? No. No. Mr. Kelvin said I shouldn't. He said it would only upset me. 
Do you believe your father committed suicide, Miss Adams? No. I can't bring myself to believe that of death. What does Ray Kilburn think about your father's death? Ray said it was suicide. But Dad was worried over what would happen when they tried him on that stock swindle charge. But don't you see, Miss Adams, Kelvin, your fiancé, has been implying all along that your father is a swindler. That he's going to clear himself by pinning the guilt on your father. No, no, I can't believe that. That's why your father opposed your marriage to Kelvin. No. Why are you saying these things? You have no right. Please go. Yes, I, I am going, Miss Adams. I'm so sorry if I've hurt you, but I... I believe you're going to thank me for keeping you from marrying a treacherous thief. Perhaps even a murderer. What do you mean? Who are you talking about? Your dead father's partner. Your fiancé, Ray Kelvin. All right, Kelvin. What's on your mind? Now listen, Berger, I want action. I won't be safe till I get Adams to sign a confession taking full blame for that stock swindle. Yeah. I see you got the confession all ready for Adams to sign. Yes. Stated the day he was supposed to have jumped in the river. Hmm. How are you going to account for not having produced the confession until now? That's easy. I'll just tell the authorities that in going over his papers, I've just found it. Mm. The government will have to dismiss the charges against me when I produce this confession signed by Adams. What are you going to do with Adams? After he signed. That's where you and your man in the morgue come in. Hmm? You've got the papers that were on the man who was buried in Adams' place. All you have to do is put those papers on Adams when we dump him in the river. What? That's murder. I've never gone that far before. And you've never been paid $10,000 before either. Now, come on, quit stalling. Get your hat and coat. We're going to finish this job now. Now, wait a minute, Kelvin, wait a minute. I'll give you back that money. Every cent of it. No, no, I'm afraid of this. <laughs> Berger, what was that? Somebody laughed here in this office. Yes, Kelvin. It is the laughter that has echoed through the mind of many a killer during his last hours in the death house. Who is that, Berger? Kelvin. There's nobody here. Yes, Mr. Berger. The shadow is here. The shadow? Kelvin, did you hear that? The shadow. He knows. He's not everything. You can't go through with it now. Yes, Kelvin. I know everything. Yes? Well, I've heard about you, Shadow. The man who has the power to make himself invisible. Uh, I know how you do it. Hypnotic suggestion. Hindu mesmerism. Oriental trickery. Well, you don't scare me. Your murderous scheme is doomed to failure, Kelvin. Give it up before it is too late. Yeah, listen to him, Kelvin. Adams is still alive. We haven't murdered him yet. No, but we've kidnapped him and we'll burn for that if we're caught. Only we're not going to be caught, Shadow or no Shadow. Come on, Berger. You're coming with me. No, no, don't make me go through with it, Kelvin. Come on. Don't. I'll show you what I think of the shadow. Come on, or I'll drill you where you stand. And the shadow if he tries to stop me. You've had your warning, Kelvin. Remember. Come on, Berger, get going. And as for you, shadow, here's a warning from me. If you follow us, I'll find a way to kill you. Remember that. <laughs> Hello, Margot Lane. Lamont, I talked to Irene Adams. She never saw her father after he died. Henry Adams isn't dead, Margot. Oh, Lamont, are you sure? Where is he? I don't know, but Berger and Kelvin are on their way to the place where they're holding him, and I'm following them. Lamont, Kelvin is planning to marry Irene Adams and leave the country in a few days. Much can happen in a few days, Margot, even in a few hours. Lamont, let me meet you. Go with you. Maybe I can help. You can help me most by standing by with a shortwave radio. Keep it tuned in on the band the shadow always uses. All right, Lamont. But now you've discovered that Mr. Adams is alive, why don't you let the police handle it? As far as the police are concerned, Henry Adams is dead. Buried, a closed case. I guess you're right, but what about Berger and Kelvin? Do they know the shadow is on their trail? Yes, and Kelvin has dared the shadow to follow him. Lamont, it may be a trap, a trick to get you someplace where all your powers won't save you, where you'll be helpless. Lamont, please don't go, please. Margot, I must follow Berger and Kelvin. If they lead me to Adams, I may need help. Stand by, Margot. Stand by until you hear from the shadow. The shadow will return in just a moment. But first, I have a word of warning for you homeowners. 
Throughout this dangerous winter season, don't subject your family to needless colds and illness, resulting from uneven on and off type heating. Thousands of careful homeowners are taking steps to avoid this risk. They're playing safe by ordering blue coal. For instance, blue coal sales in the city of Rochester for the current winter season are 20% ahead of last year's figure, and numerous other cities show similar increases. Here's why blue coal is preferred by so many people. Blue coal is a selected Pennsylvania anthracite, the fuel that gives off cleaner, more uniform, more dependable heat than any other coal. What's more, furnaces, parlor stoves, and cooking ranges in this part of the country were especially designed to burn anthracite. And the cream of all American anthracite is blue coal. The harmless blue coloring with which blue coal is tinted is your all-time guarantee of better heat at less cost. Blue coal is mined by the Glen Alden Coal Company, and every carload is tested and retested for purity and uniform sizing before shipment. What's more... Blue coal is especially prepared for home use. You can get it in the four popular domestic sizes, egg, stove, chestnut, or pea. So be guided in your fuel selection by Rochester families. For health and economy, too, insist on blue coal. Ask for it by name. Order a trial ton from your nearest blue coal dealer tomorrow. You'll find his name listed in the where to buy it section of your classified telephone directory under the name Blue Coal. Let's get this over with. What's the matter with you, Berger? You're jumpy as a cat. I know. It's the shadow. I'm scared. If you had any sense, you'd be scared, too. Oh, forget the shadow. Yeah? But suppose he's trailed us. Here. To Kingland Cemetery. Now, listen to me, Berger. Your job is to make Adam sign that confession. The shadow has developed superstitious fear in the underworld by means of his magician's tricks. He's dealing now with intelligent people who don't believe in hocus-pocus. Why, there isn't one chance in a thousand the shadow's been able to follow us here. Uh, what'll you do if he has? Huh? What can you do? You leave the shadow to me. I'll deal with him if he comes. Uh, it's the Adam's grave vault just ahead, isn't it? Yeah. It's that underground vault on the left. You have the keys to the vault? Yeah, right here. I'll well, get the vault door open. Yeah. Give me, give me a hand with this door. Oh, it's a little tongue. Uh. Be careful, Adams doesn't get out. Where's your flashlight? Right here. <laughs> There's Adams on the floor in the corner. What'd I tell you? <laughs> I bet he's so weak he can't crawl, much less run. Burger, he looks like he's dead. If he is, the whole scheme's ruined. I warned you to be careful. He ain't dead. <laughs> I know I'm dead when I see one. He's just sleeping, that dog. Wake him up and we'll see if he's ready to listen to reason. He'll listen. Come on, Adams. Come on. Wake up. Hey, snap out of it. What? What? Who are you? Never mind who I am. Come on. Sit up. Are you going to take me out of this tomb? Are you? Yeah, you're going to get out. All you have to do is sign your name to a piece of paper. Water. Give me a drink. All I've had for days is the moisture on the stone. Nothing to eat. I got something better than water. A slug of this brandy will set you up. Oh, thanks. Thank you. How did you find out they'd locked me up in this grave vault? I thought they were going to leave me here till I died. And then put me in that coffin there in place of that corpse that's supposed to be me. Never mind about that now. You're going to have a chance to get out of this grave alive. If you do as you're told. Listen, Berger, quit wasting time. Here's the confession and a pen. Make him sign it. Kelvin, you. I couldn't see you with a flashlight in my eyes. You, my own trusted partner. You're behind this. You've done this to me. You stole those securities. Framed me. Sure, sure I did. You're innocent. But if you want to get out of this family vault of yours, you'll take the blame. Sign this confession. I won't. I'll never sign it. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, cut it out, Kelvin. You can't stand much of that in the shape he's in. Do you want to kill him? I won't sign it. I won't. 
A confession for me would clear you, Kelvin. Put the blame on me. Leave you free to marry my daughter, Irene. You made her think I'd drown myself. I'm innocent of the swindling charge. You're the guilty one. You'll sign that confession or I'll break every bone in your body. Oh. I told you to go easy. Yeah. Adams is out cold. Shut up and help me bring him around. The shadow on our trail, there's no time to lose. Yeah, I know. And I'd give plenty to know where the shadow is right now. <laughs> what would you give, Berger? Tell me. He's here. The shadow's here in the ball, Willis. Berger, turn off the flashlight. Quick. <laughs> now you think we're on even terms. Don't you, Kelvin? You can't see me in the dark of the tomb. And you think I cannot see you. Yes. Yes, that's right, Shadow. Kelvin, where are you Stay going? Stay with Wait. Bob, Lugger. And you too, Shadow. I may not be able to see you, but if you come close enough to try to stop me closing the door of this vault, I'll fill you full of lead. Kelvin, Kelvin, don't leave me You're here. You're no use to me anymore, Burger. You can thank the Shadow for that. You ain't going to leave me in here to die. You dirty double-cutting man. All right, Burger. I'll do you one last favor. I won't leave you to die from thirst and hunger. You'll be luckier than Adams and the Shadow. Come on, Burger. Try to get out before I close this steel door. No, give me a break, Tommy. I'll let him go. Give me a chance. Have the gun on me, you know that. Yes, Burger, I know that. Come on, I was just fooling. Oh, you mean I killed him? You mean you mean... <laughs> So, Kelvin. You shot Berger and added murder to your other crime. You'll never get out of this vault to tell about it, Shadow. You've cheated me out of a chance to beat that swindle indictment. You've ruined my chance of getting Irene with her Adam's money. Well, now you're going to have plenty of time to wish you'd never meddled in this. You'll have the pleasure of watching Adams die. He's almost dead now. And when he's gone, you'll have the company of three dead men. Three dead men waiting for you to join them. Goodbye, Shadow. You can lock that steel door, Kelvin. But somehow the Shadow will still get out. All right, Shadow. Let's see you try it. Shadow. <coughs> Shadow. <coughs> Kelvin, double cross me. Yeah. I'm done for all right. <coughs> what about you? Can you get out of this place like you said? The police will be here in a few minutes. Yeah. You told him to come here, you mean? No, but I'm going to. Right now. Margot Lane. Margot Lane. Notify Commissioner Weston to pick up Ray Kelvin. Have him send a squad of men to Kingman Cemetery. Have them open the gray vault of Henry Adams. Adams is alive. But in the critical condition, Margot. Don't come into the cemetery yourself. Kelvin is at large. Notify Police Commissioner Weston at once. So, Shadow, you're calling the cops. Shadow, it's Kelvin. He's in that air vent at the top of the vault. <laughs> he heard you calling the cops. Yes, I heard you, Shadow. And if you think the police are going to get here in time to save you, you're mistaken. Every minute you waste in gloating brings you nearer the electric chair, Kelvin. Don't waste your sympathy on me, Shadow. <laughs> I wonder what you'll look like when the cops find you with Berger and Adams. All of you drowned like rats in a trap. Because that's what's going to happen to you. You're going to drown like rats in a trap. Listen. Walter! He's going to fill the boat full of water, Shadow! Yes, right up to the top. And it won't take long. Too bad for you I found a fire hose in the groundkeeper's shed. Now let the police come. They're welcome to anything they can get out of any of you when they get here. So long, Shadow. Let's see you get out of that spot. Shadow. He's gone. Water. Water. Here's water. Water. The shadow. The water's an inch deep on the floor already. Yes, and it's rising every minute. Our only hope is that the police will get here in time. Use that radio of yours. Tell them what's happened. Tell them to hurry. The radio transmitter is wet. Useless. Except the last appeal for help. Help me, Shadow. Help me. You deserve no help, Berger. You left Adams here to die. Oh, Calvin made me do it. I never did anything like this before. I ran a fake passport and identification racket, that's all. I never killed anybody. I swear to Shadow. The water is getting deeper. Deeper. Water. Water. There's only one high water. place in this tomb. One high place. On top of the casket. 
The casket of the man you buried and made the world believe was Henry Adams. Look me up there. I was down here on the floor. I read. I no, Berger. No. Help me. I won't lift you up. Adams is too weak to stand. There's only room for one on top of that coffin. And if anyone is to have a few extra minutes of life, Adams will get it. Oh. What are you going to do? Put Adams on top of the coffin. His life is worth a dozen like yours. I read. Irene, forgive me. I was afraid you were going to marry Kelvin. I knew he was treacherous. A thief. How? Shut up. In God's name, help me up. Help me on my feet. Lay me against the wall. Don't do that much for me. Yes, Berger. I'll do that much for you. It's all I can do. Thanks. Thanks, Shut up. Here I am, trying to save myself from drowning, so that I can die of bullet wounds. Here I am, being lifted by a man whose hands I can feel on my arms, but I can't see. Maybe, maybe it isn't happening. Maybe it's a dream. Maybe this is death. No, Berger, this is not death. This is real. You're still alive, and I am here, and Adams is here. The water is rising all around us. Up to our waist now. What about you, Shadow? I heard queer things about you that you couldn't be killed. Can't you get out of here, huh? Even though I have the power of invisibility, I cannot walk through solid stone walls. No windows, no other opening but that door. Try it. Try it, just move. Maybe you didn't lock when Kelvin closed it, huh? Maybe. Oh, try something, Shadow. Try anything. Yes, yes, Berger. There might be a chance. A big chance. Uh, there's only a chance. I'm going to try to break down the door. Ah, <coughs> uh, useless, Berger. You mean you can't even save yourself? No, I can't even save myself. Help doesn't come soon as this vault fills to the roof. The shadow will die as quickly as you, Berger. No, no. <laughs> Not quite as quick. I'm finished, Shadow. Thanks to Kelvin's bullets. <laughs> I won't drown. No? And perhaps you were lucky after all, Berger. Irene, Irene, help me, help me. Listen to me. Listen to me, Henry Adams. Listen. Help is coming, but it will be too late unless you help yourself. Kelvin. Kelvin is filling this tomb with water. It's up to the top of the coffin you're lying on. Listen to me, Henry Adams. You must get up. Hold on to me or you will drown. I... I can't. My strength is gone. You must. You must, for Irene's sake. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am the shadow. I came here to save you, but I'm afraid I failed. Shadow? The shadow? It doesn't matter who or what I am. Shadow! Shadow, are you still there? Still alive? No, Kelvin. The fascination of murder has drawn you back to the seat of your crime. I just wanted to make sure of you, Shadow. In that case, you'd better wait a few minutes longer, Kelvin. Who is that? Who is that talking? It sounds like Kelvin. Irene! Irene, don't do it! Don't marry Kelvin! He'll marry me. With you and Berger and the Shadow out of the way, she'll never know, Adams. She'll never know. Kelvin! Kelvin, do you hear that? You hear that, Kelvin? It's the police. Run for your life, Kelvin, or better still. Fight them off. They're cheating you out of your triumph of death. They're going to drown like rats. The police won't get me. They won't get you out of there in time. You'll drown. Drown like rats. You will. Get that man. Stop him. Stop you or I'll shoot. Let him have it. You in, Shadow. I got him. Okay, come on. Come on, men. 
Get the door of that vault open and see what's going on here. Uh, here are the keys I got from the watchman at the cemetery gate, Commissioner. All right, get that door open. Right. Commissioner, there's water spurting out around the sides and bottom of the door. Good heavens. The vault's been flooded. Commissioner, there's a street flushing hose attached to the hydrant. It's pouring water into that vault. Shut it off, Mike. Okay. Sergeant, open that door. Yes, sir. Look out, Sergeant. Good heavens. The vault must have been filled with a roof. Quick. Throw your flashlight on the floor. Yes, sir. Commissioner. There's a man lying on top of that pack. Come on, that man isn't dead. He's trying to get up. Yeah. Come on, here. Give me a hand with him. Right. Come on. This, this must be Adam. It is Adam. Henry Adam. Commissioner Weston. Shadow. It's the shadow again. Yes, Commissioner, it's the shadow. You were just in time. So I see. What's back of all this? Henry Adams committed suicide two weeks ago. He was buried in this vault. If this man is Adams, who's in that sealed casket? Just one of the many unidentified men and women who find their way into the morgue, Commissioner. Foreign spies and secret agents pay big prices for passports issued in the names of those unidentified men and women. Good heavens, Shadow. But, Commissioner, the fake identification ring is smashed. And Berger, the leader, was killed. Commissioner, this is the end of the society of the living dead. Ladies and gentlemen, before the shadow leaves you... Here's John Barclay, Blue Coal's heating expert. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Barclay. Thank you, Ken Roberts. Good evening, friends. Tonight I have some news for all you homeowners. When you buy Blue Coal, you're entitled to the free John Barclay service. At your request, a John Barclay serviceman will be sent to inspect your heating plant. No matter what your problem may be, he can solve it for you. This valuable advice is yours, free of charge. Thousands of families are profiting by the John Barclay Heating Service. For instance, a woman in Roxbury, Massachusetts, writes, I'm truly grateful for the valuable information given me by your John Barclay serviceman. I've learned more about saving coal and looking after my furnace this year than ever before. And friends, that's only one of the many expressions of satisfaction I receive every day. So for the very best results, I earnestly recommend that you burn blue coal in your heating plant and take advantage of the free John Barclay heating service. Phone your nearest blue coal dealer tomorrow. And here's another suggestion for you homeowners. Either write me in care of this station or send to Blue Coal, 120 Broadway, New York City, for my valuable free booklet, How to Reduce the Cost of Heating Your Home. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Barclay. And friends, write to John Barclay or Blue Coal, 120 Broadway, New York City, and get your free copy of How to Reduce the Cost of Heating Your Home. You have just heard a dramatized version of one of the many copyrighted stories which appear in the Shadow Magazine. All the characters and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. Next week, same time, same station, Blue Coal, America's finest anthracite, will again present another thrilling adventure of the shadow. Be sure to listen, and be sure to burn Blue Coal, the solid fuel for solid comfort. Yeah. 